Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to more of the Curious Expedition. And we're really happy because we've opened up another explorer. It's only taken us, what, like 15 episodes? Three, four expeditions with different explorers to actually get there. But we've done it, we've done it. So, I'm not, I'm not going to jibber jabber. There was a lot of jibber jabbering at the start of the last episode. Turned it into an hour episode. Don't want that happening again. <laughs> so uh, let's just crack on. We're doing a new game. We still have one more explore to open up, and that is this man here. We have to find a Necronomicon. Now, I don't think. Please feel free to uh, uh, tell me otherwise if, if if you if you've seen it. But I've actually come across one right now. I uh, I can't remember doing it. I I don't, I don't know what's happened. So. Uh, who knows? Maybe maybe I'm missing out on something. Maybe there's something I choose not to do on each exp expedition, which I should be doing in order to be able to find it. But um, hopefully, like we've got what? What have we got here? We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, at least seven more explorers to be able to find it. So we should be okay. Yeah? Sound good? We're about, what, halfway through? And we've uh, we've won half, we've lost half. So we're doing okay. 50-50. That's like, what, a, a C? In grades? Is that a C? Just about a C? C minus maybe? So it's not too bad. It's not, it's not too bad at all. Uh, so yeah, I believe it was, was it Marcus Garvey we opened up before? Or was it Harriet Tubman? One of those two just opened up anyway. So uh, all good. Anyway, this time we're cracking on with Dion Fortune. The occultist, psychologist and performer of the modern magical arts. And uh, she has Impetus, which reduces the base anti cost of travelling. Uh, what did Ada have? Uh, it was five perks, that was right, yeah, so Impetus, which is good, so it means you're, you're straight away saving sanity, which can only be good, you know, it can only lead to good things, I'd like to think. So uh, what do we know about Dion Fortune? Well, she was an occultist, as it says there. Uh, she was born, I think, around 1890, and uh, she's a Welsh lady, originally. Uh, she's from Londono. And then she moved to uh, London later on to uh, uh, study at university, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and uh, she was she had a, a part in the First World War uh, in the Women's Land Army, uh, which uh, is, uh, basically she was she was a, a farmer. So so she helped out with uh, uh, the rationing uh, back at home, which is very cool. And uh, yeah, she uh, she died slightly early. She she died in 1946 at the age of uh, 55 from leukemia. Uh, which is a, a bit of a sad one, but, you know, these things happen. But the interesting thing about Dion Fortune is it's not actually her name. She was originally christened Violet Mary Firth. Violet Mary Firth, yes. Um, and she got Dion Fortune from the uh, Latin saying for her family, which was Dio non fortuna, which means by God, not fate. So it, it's, it's pretty fitting that she went on to uh, get into the occult and the, the spiritual side of things uh, with a, uh, a name like that and uh, a family motto like that. So there we go. That's, that's the Wikipedia consulted for the day. <laughs> so let's crack on with the episode. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honour the expeditions of our most famous member? with the fire crackling in the background. Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I am afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer in our club. And we have Nikola Tesla, Mary Kingsley, Alistair Crowley and Charles Darwin. Now go explore! Adventure awaits! Uh, now, on the, on the last episode, um, at the, right at the end of the episode, uh, we did find out that uh, a couple of the uh, of the helpers were having visions of a seventh expedition. I'm pretty sure that's going to be from playing on mega, mega, silly, silly hard mode. Uh, but we'll get to that. As I said, we, we are looking to open up all the explorers before we, we crack on. So uh, we're just going to stick to the expedition at the moment, see if we can get some more golden portraits sorted, and hopefully open up the, uh, the last explorer as well. As it's the first expedition, we only have the one place to go to, and we are heading to the magnificent jungle. A well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide grasslands. A golden period can be found in this region. Well, let's crack on. Full of anticipation, I arrived at the docks. The captain had yet to arrive, so I had one last pot of tea. A trader walked up to me and pledged for my help. He desired to have a message delivered to the chief of a village located in the region we were headed to. Should I be doing this in a Welsh accent? I can do a very bad Welsh accent. Um, 
from where I am in 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 the UK in England, I am very close to the Welsh borders. So uh, um, it's it, I'm sure it's partially in my blood. Um, and it's only about putting a bit of no, I'm not going to do it. It's far too racist. Far too racist. Let's, let's just accept. He handed us a sealed envelope, which I promised to deliver just in time. Our ship was ready to set sail. Righty. So let's have a quick look. See who we got. So we have Ms. Catley, uh, our faithful donkey servant. Uh, we have Sister Arena, the missionary, who is oh, superstitious, I believe that one is. Yes. Uh, spiritual solidarity allows to rest for free in missions, which is awesome because I charge way too much and uh, a strong mind increased maximum sanity so the increased maximum sanity along with the impetus we get uh, off uh, Dion herself uh, means that really we should be doing pretty well as far as uh, sanity is concerned and sanity management uh, the only thing being is sister Rena isn't the strongest of people and doesn't carry a lot uh, which isn't the best but uh, never mind never mind and then we have Aaron McMahon McMahon Aaron Mac MacMahon, yeah, Aaron, yeah, Aaron to his friends, uh, who is obviously, being a Scottish soldier, a raging alcoholic, enough of the racism, Padge, enough of the racism, <laughs> and uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit tougher, a bit, a bit of better capacity, we've got the donkey to off, off laid out with a free, so that should be too, too bad, uh, let's crack on, let's go, to Expedition 1, generating whimsy, and we're sailing in, we're not just stuck in a, a uh, a nasty acid pile, which is good. It's not acid, is it? It's like a sulfur. Sulfur is the word I'm looking for. Just as I thought we would never find a way through these waters, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. The land lay open in front of us, like an invitation to an adventure. How can you guarantee our safety? Well, you can stay on the ship and hang out with the captain who doesn't like people. So it makes you wonder why he's a captain, especially a captain of a passenger vessel. You'd have thought, you know, if you don't like people, having a passenger vessel probably isn't the best. You get on better with like a sailboat or even a rowboat where it's just you. But there we go. Not one to uh, pick on anybody for their career choices. Let's begin the expedition. It might be best to deliver the letter first. Luckily, the man had marked the location of the village on our map. Oh, look at that. It's, it's, it's just north of us. Just north of us. Uh, we've got no fluid way of getting there, as there's no other question marks in the region. So we're just going to have to go north and uh, pray that uh, we see something. Or else it's going to be very short. Uh, lots of forests. Let's get straight up to the uh, to the village. As it stands right now, we don't need to go for maximum, uh, maximum region points. All we need to do is uh, get enough region points in order to upgrade our people to make them more useful. So... Uh, that's that's cool. Glad I got that before the uh, the patch came out. <laughs> we arrived at a native village. We encountered a tribe that demanded their respect as they were reverence of the spirit world. Oh, you'll get on well with them here, Dion. The villagers observed us with curiosity as our trek arrived at their settlement. We moved freely into the village and considered our options with these people. Let's just all stay close together. The natives observed us with caution. They were kind and offered to help our cause. That's very nice of you. Are we still at zero? Yes, we are. Right, so let's deliver the letter. We brought the letter to the village chief. The elderly man was a compulsive talker and told us about the best sites to see in the vicinity, including a holy shrine, which he marked on our map. We felt more than welcome, and the villagers were seemingly excited about our presence. Well, we've, we've got our standing up. We're on two. Uh, we... We might as well try and recruit, I guess. I don't really want to be selling anything. We could sell the costume flares. We could have used a costume flare, I suppose, but uh, I'd rather get out there and do it. Let's just try and recruit. I asked around to see if some locals were interested to join my cause. Not long after, I had assembled some volunteers and needed to decide who to recruit. What is your problem? Are you a horrible racist? No, you're a horrible alcoholic, so be quiet. Uh, oh, we can have a water buffalo. We can have... Quimezo, the animal handler, who would, yeah, increase the inventory size of our pack animal and also have the capacity himself. It doesn't tell you how much the water buffalo holds, I don't think. No, it doesn't. Um, or we can have uh, Kapumidge. Kapumidge, the animal handler, who is a sexist. Uh, I think we'll go with Quimezo and try and uh, win her over. So, hello, Quimezo. 
Quimerzo, the animal handler, joined our trek. We felt more than welcome, and the villagers were seemingly excited about our presence. Let's have a look at, uh, at their items. They might have something interesting. Uh, no, they don't. <laughs> let's just let's crack on. We were not able to come to an agreement with the villagers. That's fine. Let's go. Let's go. We got ready and headed out as new adventures awaited us. Cool. Well, there's the shrine, and we got some butterflies next to us, which is very nice. Uh, we're doing okay for time at the moment, so uh, let's get, let's have a little bit of a wander. We can always go back to the ship and rest, or even the village as it stands right now. So let's get to the other side of the. Uh, 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 yeah, not a lot there. I don't think they'll throw anything majorly into the corner. So let's have a quick look below here. Ah, see, there's always something hiding. Always something. And we have a stone circle. We came across a stone circle that was obviously man-made. There were inscriptions etched into each rock. Maybe they formed a kind of map. Sister Arena seemed visibly upset at the idea of desecrating this spiritual site and warned us about the incurring the wrath of the gods within an area. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, and is it going to reach? Is it? Oh no, it's not. Like, completely over. But we can pretty much see whatever we want to see in this region. Let's... Right, we're going to be heading north. So... Where can we get the most of our money? One there. I'm missing one there too. Let's check southwards. Because we're going to be heading north to the uh, question mark anyway. So let's see if we can get through the bottom. Oh, something's going on. Sister Arena made sure to voice her concerns to me. I was not sure how long it would take for her to, to get over my decision. But, well, you know, chill out. Oh, she's not angry, so that's good, that's good. Uh, he's alcoholic and she's uh, a local, so we'll hesitate to follow us home. We're doing, we're doing well, Ev everyone's annoyed. Everyone is annoyed. Uh, we need 38. I don't think we're going to get that by eating the uh, cocoa leaves, are we? We might do. It's enough to get us back, just about. All right, to the village, 34, 40. No, let, let's, let's go back to the ship and we can rest up. Or not. I had already been resting when I, when I was woken by a loud gunshot. I immediately ran to aid Aaron McMahon against an attack, but to my horror I found him dead on the ground, killed through my own gun. How could this have happened? I cried all night. He killed himself! Did you not hear we were going back to the ship? Wow. Well, that was really dark. <laughs> that was really dark. Okay. Uh, well, do we do we risk six? Do we risk six? Uh, no, let's not. Let's not risk any more. It's just silly. I can't believe that. Shot himself. We returned to our ship. I felt homesick all of a sudden and wondered how much longer I would need to stay out here. Uh, well, we need to return the body to the ship at least. Uh, let's rest overnight. We prepared camp and allowed everyone to rest. We were at the brink of collapse. Even the warming flames of the campfire had a hard time to ease our minds. Sister Arena screamed at a snake for being too small. That was very irritating. I should keep an eye on her. Hmm. Bipolar tends to swing between extreme views of loyalty or disloyalty. Fantastic. That's just what we need. Oh dear. This isn't a good start. I've definitely had better first expeditions. As we packed up, I once more enjoyed the convenience of the ship. However, I felt that the captain was becoming irritated by our stopover. We should just stay here and wait for help. What are you on about? We're on a boat. We can sail away. Jeez, are you, are you on a down, down swing at the moment, Sister Arena? My God. I told to pack down the trek and allowed everyone to rest. It was a pitch black night as we sat and stared into the campfire. I thought about why I'd come here. Was this really worth it, all these struggles? What kind of person did it take to urge for a life of danger, suffering and uncertainty, only for the minuscule hope of achieving eternal life through history? Would anybody really remember me one day? Well, whereas Ada didn't really need to have any doubt at all, um, you haven't had a good start. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I will allow that thinking for you. After days of resting, we still enjoyed the convenience of staying at our boat. However, I was under the impression that the captain was becoming irritated by our stopover. Uh, okay, we don't understand what Kumeso is saying. That's probably for the best. 
Uh, let's crack on. We've got enough now. Let's get up to the uh, top question mark. See what's over here. Get that uh, third of a region point. Oh, we've got an old camp. We found an old campsite. It must have been here for a long time. The few mortal remains were long rotten and overgrown by the voracious plant life. We should leave immediately! My instinct told me we would find something of value here. We spread out and searched the area. To, to our surprise, one of the rotten crates still held some valuable equipment. What you got? Chocolate and a treasure map. Well, we'll take all those simply because we have lots and lots of space. Uh, let's, uh, let's carry on. We don't need to eat anything for the time being. Uh, pass into the next region. That's pretty much this region sorted. If we go below the question mark, there's a good chance we'll pick up the uh, butterfly. Sister's quick moth. There we go. There we go. Uh, and we have the waterfall. I am not. Mm, well, do we rest? We can rest. Mm, we can rest once, can't we? Yeah, we'll rest once. We arrived at a magnificent waterfall. It was, it was an awe-inspiring sight. The water cooled down the air, creating a fresh breeze. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here and told the people to rest. All help seemed to be lost. We barely managed to collect enough wood to light a campfire. Times were dark and Dion Fortune and Sister Arena was my only human help. See, she's so distressed, she's even talking to herself in the third person. It was just a matter of spending enough time together until we got into a tiring argument. I don't exactly recall how it started, but it involved a blunt account about the similarities between the Queen and my father. We didn't talk the rest of the day. <laughs> well, your, your father's probably a bit of a Queen then, I guess. Bit of a Queen. So we're middling on, on, on sanity. That's not too bad, I suppose. After days of resting, we still enjoyed the rumbling of the falling water. This was truly a beautiful place. Uh, right, let's, let's leave. Uh, and let's go to the other side of the question mark so we can see what it is and collect the uh, butterfly at the same time. Uh, and that's just uh, another place to rest anyway. Sister's deadly calm off this time. Who uh, misses? Uh, right, we don't actually know where the pyramid is. Uh, which is probably a bad thing. Depending on what this uh, shrine is. How much to get up onto there? 24. Uh, let's get up onto 32. Let's get up onto the hill, see if we can locate the pyramid. Which is, oh, ooh, might be either one of those. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's eat the cocoa leaves, get back to the shrine, and then we'll hit the uh, pyramid, uh, the question mark over here next. And worst case scenario, we just run further away from the shrine. A temple long forgotten by mankind stood bathed in light before us. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. Waist-high stairs led up to an enormous doorway. A thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure. That's good. We like, shri uh, we like shrines. Of course we like shrines. We like sand too. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. An altar, flooded by light, throned in its center. God! Very nice. What is it? A golden bowl. I'm going to eat my cornflakes out of that. This was not a day of hesitation. We took what we came for. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside as the whole area began. behind us began to wither and die. We could not tell how, but it seemed like we had caused some kind of shift in the climate of this region. Okie dokie. So we're good there. Uh, let's see the two bits of chocolate. Um, I'm going to guess that this is going to be uh, the pyramid. Sadly, we don't have enough sanity to be able to get up top if it is, he says. So we won't be able to go up there and get away with it. And I don't really want to push that too much. I am, however, going to upgrade Sister Arena. Uh, so we start with full sanity and uh, a higher sanity next time, which I think makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's go. There was the Golden Pyramid, enthroned above the landscape, overcoming all the obstacles we had yet survived. Knowledge is better than ignorance. That I cannot argue with, Dion, at all. After weeks of travelling, Euphoria overcame me. I knew that this name, Dion Fortune, would, would go down in the annals of world history. I congratulated Quimezo, but instead of happiness, I saw sadness. She prefers to stay here. Well, how did we end? We ended on a minus one standing, so I can understand that. She's annoyed the way we treated her uh, uh, her surroundings and, and her villages. 
Yeah, okay, we're, we're stuck with the bipolar sister. Never mind. Success! Oh, that's slow. That's quicker. And do we finish first? Hey, okay. As I said, uh, fame doesn't matter so much these days. We've done what we needed to do. And we just need to find this damn Necronomicon. Splendid! Alright, what are you going to choose from? Feeling like a hero? Well, yes, I am, thank you, you miserable woman. Right, we can choose from anthropology. Anthropological studies of indigenous creatures, or cultures even, can be created for additional fame. We have careerist, promoting characters improves their loyalty towards you. And we have jungle explorer, reduce movement costs in thick jungle. Uh, I'm going to go for anthropological studies again, because fame on it is good, I think. Then again, fame isn't important, we just need to finish. So it probably makes more sense to get Jungle Explorer just to bring the, the sanity movements down. So yeah, let's do that. We'll do Jungle Explorer instead. Hooray! Huzzah! Just me and the nun. Um, we're, we're not doing too badly. We're sort of uh, middling. middling. And uh, as it turns out, we've got no money, so we just need to sell everything. Sell it all. Sell it all. And... Uh, crack on that that is us done here and uh yeah expedition one done and dusted could have gone better we've definitely had better first expeditions before uh well the last one ada was uh, was fantastic compared to this one but we were doing okay as i said we're, we're on the hunt for the necronomicon so uh, hopefully it will pop up on our travels and uh, we won't have to worry too much about uh, winning more just surviving really and and finding as many question marks as we can to try and find this goddamn necronomicon but uh Hopefully that'll be on the next episode. So, thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.